Our run-through signs have been tradition for decades. Um, we personally have found photos as early as the 80s of former cheerleaders holding up signs made out of paper. I am a Farmersville native, a graduate of Farmersville High School. I have seen more incarnations of the run-through sign than probably most people in the high school. And it's near and dear to my heart. It's always signified something really cool as far as being involved in football and those Friday night lights and everything that that means with the people in the stands and all the pomp and circumstance with the bands, the drill team, the cheerleaders, just the community coming together. I think the tradition of the sign should no longer be a tradition. Um, traditions aren't meant to be changed, and everyone around town says they want the sign, but they want it that bad, they can come and help us paint it, because it takes a lot of work that we don't want to have to put in every week. I really don't like the run through signs at all, so you can say that I'm not really a big fan of them. I do not like the run through signs at all. Personally, I do not like these signs. The um, run through signs are a little outdated, um, I think they were cool 10 years ago, but not now. They're kind of boring. We kind of just come out of a piece of paper. Half the time they break apart before we get the run through them. Um, sure, that's been tons of time doing them. I mean, it's, it's most times just a pain. They're a waste of money, and sure, they're traditional and everything, and that's why everyone wants to keep them in this town, but they're kind of dumb at this point because we have to spend our money for the cheer fund and our time every week. And honestly on the girls it's a lot of stress sometimes because some girls have work or other sports and it's hard to finish the sign but we don't have all the girls. It is a lot of work having to like sign tape and we've had nails broken. <laughs> That's not so bad but we had help with nails broken and people crying and lots of drama. And it's kind of hard now that we have like band and we have um, volleyball going on. It's hard to find a place to do the signs, and it's a lot of money out of our pocket. Uh, I don't think people understand the reality, but the cheerleaders spend $2,500 a year on duct tape. Duct tape to make these banners, $2,500. Okay, that blew my mind. In paper, they spend over $1,000 in paper, and then they spend $500 in paint. And then the number of hours that it takes to make one banner. They usually are up here on Sunday afternoons or Monday evenings building the banners. And it usually takes anywhere from six to eight hours to create one banner. Um, I do understand tradition and I do would like to do them on like homecoming and senior night, but all the time, it's a lot. It is something that Farmersville does that a lot of districts have given up. It used to be the norm, now it's definitely not. So I think a title or something would be a lot better. And you know, I think some of our players would love the opportunity to have the run through tunnel the first two times they ran through it. It comes up every few years, if not every year. Oh, isn't it time to retire this stupid tradition and just get a blow up tunnel? And a lot of people think, oh, hey, that's a great idea. It's less money overall and, you know, a little more modern. And somehow it never happens. And that has nothing to do with money. That has to do with heart. It has to do with tradition. It's part of the experience of being in Farmersville and being under the Friday night lights. I and mean, we'd always have the silly sayings on there, cook Frisco in Crisco, or, you know, whatever, something goofy like that. <laughs> then there are those rainy or windy nights when just the sheer fact that cheerleaders aren't falling off of each other's shoulders with the sign makes it more impressive. These cheerleaders these days could go to any cheerleader that existed in the 80s and 90s, and they would have the exact same stories because they've built this banner the exact same way over and over again with the duct tape and the pipes and the rope and everything. And I feel like that there's something to that. We still have something 
tangible that weaves the past and the present together and keeps all of that tradition alive. And I don't think anybody should ever take that away. I know what you're thinking. It's just a sign. It's just a piece of paper. But it represents us. It really does. From all of the memories people have from our games and away games, they associate it with us. Because at the end of the day, the sign is us. And can we not just take the first step to loving ourselves by loving the sign? It's not as deep as you think. I get it. I hear it. I know. All of these tiny little memories, they're going to add up. And while we hate it now, we will inevitably tell our children to make the sign. But look, this is where the change happens. We can't keep doing it the same way. Because right now, we aren't getting anything out of it. Our parents are. And that's been the whole center of this debacle. The alumni love it way more than the students. Okay, well let's make a change. Let's revitalize it so there's a way for both the students and the alumni to like this. Let's make it this big deal. Put it out at only the special games. That way we can really have a spectacle that will be pretty close to once in a lifetime. Because otherwise, it's just going to end up forgotten, alone, in the dumps.